Hello and welcome, welcome back to Bookmark Chronicles. Today I'm doing round two of Would I Read These Authors Again, where I go through all of my new to me authors from 2023 and decide whether or not I would read from them again. If you missed the first video, I will have that linked in the cards and the description for you. Basically, I decided to do this because I had a lot of new to me authors this year, more than I've had in previous years, and so I figured this would be a nice little experiment to go through. First author on the list is S.T. Abbey. This is the author of the Mindfuck series, and absolutely. I read all six novellas in the series and I love them. We realize that St. Abbey is a pen name. They have other series under I think maybe two different names and so Robin and I are definitely interested in going through her backlist. This author unfortunately did pass away though so her backlist is all that exists so we will try to make our way through that at some point. Next it's Alexandria House and I read the McLean Brothers series by her. I do have a series review of that so I will have that linked in the description for you. I would definitely read from her again but I say that cautiously because the way that book two in that series had me questioning so many things. <laughs> it was a great series overall. I did DNF that second book though and I have heard some similar things about some of her other stories so I think I need to be a little careful when I choose what I'm going to read next. The next author is Rosaria Munda. She is the author of The Aurelian Cycle which is a YA dragon rider series that I thoroughly enjoyed. I was so surprised because I'm very iffy when it comes to YA fantasy but I ended up really enjoying that series so I would definitely read from her again. I do think that the second book had a little middle book syndrome but the finale for the most part made up for it. Then we have G.R. McAllister, the author of the Five Queendom series. I have read both Scorpica and Arca. There hasn't been any news on book three yet, I don't think. And I loved Scorpica, rated it five stars, but rated Arca, I think, three stars. And it's one of my more disappointing reads of the year because I had high hopes after reading Scorpica and it just didn't live up to that. I have already decided that I will read the third book in the series and that will determine whether or not I continue. To finish that series. I don't know if they have other work and if they release something different I think that I would give it a shot at least just because of how much I enjoyed Scorpica. Next we have Be Love. I have read Fans Only and Mr. Librarian and the Mr. Series Prelude that introduces new characters. I've decided that I am going to continue that series just to see how it goes because it was a hot mess and I'm low-key into it. There is high potential that I could DNF that series though. Would I try something else by them? Absolutely. For C.E. Davies Okumbawa, I read Son of the Storm but then decided to DNF the series because I didn't like any of the characters. Honestly, I was a little bored when I read it. I don't know if they have other work but I think that I would read from him again. I am interested in that second book in The Nameless Republic but I'm just gonna have Robin tells me what happened because I don't think I was intrigued enough to keep going but I do really enjoy African inspired fantasies. It's what I read the most when it comes to fantasy so if he has other work I definitely pick it up. Then we have Namina Forna, author of The Gilded Ones, which I loved so 100%. Can't wait to continue that series and hopefully read book three when it comes out in 2024. Then we have Danielle Allen. I read Boot Up, which is a part of their hot holiday hookup series kind of. It was a Halloween novella and I really liked it so I'm definitely going to read the rest of that series. I haven't looked into their other work yet though but I will at some point because I did really like that first read. Then we have Sylvia Moreno Garcia. I read Mexican Gothic and it was my buddy read with Robin for the month of October and I've learned a few things. One, gothic horror is not for me and two, I'm not quite sure that Miss Moreno Garcia is for me. Robin did a reading vlog of a bunch of her different work and I wasn't really interested in most of it. So I don't think that I would read from her again. Next is Brandon Massey. I read Nana for Black and Wean this year and it was disturbing. And I, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think I liked the feelings that I got from that book, however. I would read from him again. Ty over at Book Tribe did a video talking about BIPOC authors that you should read for mystery and thriller rather than Agatha Christie and I really love that video. I think I added all of the things that she talked about to my want to read and I'll have her video linked for you. So one of the books in that was one by Brandon Massey that sounded really interesting so I would definitely try that one and then decide if he's for me or not afterwards. The last author for today is B.B. Olsen, author of Amari and the Knight Brothers in 100% without question. In fact, I need book three, please. 
sooner rather than later somebody said that it's supposed to release in like april or something like that of 2024 and that would be great i i would love that i yes yes i believe amari was his debut and i don't know if he is planning to only write middle grade but i do like middle grade so even if he wrote something that was YA, i think i would still pick it up so those are some more new to me authors that i've read this year this will either be three or four parts depending on how many more authors i add between now and the end of the year i think it's safe to say that i have said yes to a majority of them and that feels good so let me know if you've read any of these authors or any of the books that i mentioned or if they're on your tbr otherwise that's all i have for you today and i'll see you in the next video